I'm married, been married for five years to my third wife. I have seven children. My father was an abusive alcoholic that left my mom when I was one year old. When I was 15, I uh, reconnected with him and decided that I wanted to know him better and moved in with him. Within a month, I saw him uh, hit my stepmom with a closed fist and it was devastating. I needed an out and the Navy looked awesome. I was discharged because my wife left me. The Navy had a real problem with me being a single dad and needed me to go out on missions and uh, I ended up just having, I guess, like a freak out moment. I tried to start intimidating her. I grabbed the knife and literally in one swipe almost cut off my entire arm. The same problems that existed in my first marriage were in my second marriage. I started drinking pretty heavily and um, I was arrested for domestic violence. I spent time in jail. By that time I had three little girls. What just happened to my life? I started to ask questions as I laid in bed at night. You know, what does believing in God really mean? Uh, and when I started to get honest with myself, I really wasn't doing anything. And it was that stuff, that trash, that garbage in my life that couldn't be there if the Holy Spirit was gonna be there. And God really started to speak to me. This is what I would hear all the time. My spirit can't occupy the same space as a drunken body. If you wanna live into your purpose, Jason, you gotta quit drinking. In 2013 in October was when I took my last drink of alcohol. I drank since I was 15 with my dad. Within just a few months, uh, my mind was clear and God showed me a whole new universe. I hadn't spoken to my dad in years, but God said, I want you to drive to Tennessee and I want you to forgive yourself for the stuff you've done to your dad and I want you to forgive your father for what he's done to you. That was a uh, epic moment in my life. I literally was praying out loud to God on the drive home saying, I'm whole, I'm whole now. And in my wholeness, God said, you're ready. You're ready to go into the ministry now. Um, and, and I did it. I did it, I jumped. The strip mall that the, uh, the point sits in um, has a lot of issues. There's roof issues, there's uh, issues everywhere. And, and it just really needed somebody to, to be here and love it and take care of it and oversee it. And so I kind of just fell into that role of, of taking this uh, building from a uh, dilapidated state into a state where we can use spaces like this to lease out. And it just so happens that the people we're putting in here, it's not tobacco stores, it's not <laughs> liquor stores or like a place you could buy lottery tickets. They're nonprofits. When God said this will be a center of influence, a cornerstone for a movement, we're building that. It's actually happening. What's happening to me and the miracles that are happening around me, um, I would be crazy. I'd do the world an injustice not to share that with people.